important that we have you here on, on International Women's Day to talk about some very important work, and I, I'm sure all of us in this committee agree about the importance of, of protecting and advancing the fundamental dignity of, of women and girls all over the world. I want to ask you uh, a question about the activity of, of uh, the UN Population Fund, maybe that goes in a little bit of a different direction. Uh, does, in any case, the UN Population Fund support the use of coercive family planning techniques? We don't. You don't? We I don't. There is not even one occasion where that has occurred. Uh, so, so you're telling me that never in the history of the UN Population Fund has there ever been support never. for coercive family planning? Never. Okay. Um, would you, would you maybe, maybe I'll come at this in a different way. What, what are your, is your view of the history of China's one-child policy? Would you regard that as coercive family planning? China's one-child policy is a national policy of China. Yes. We did not, we were not part of that policy. That's their policy. I, I, am, I, am I incorrect in my belief that the UN Population Fund provided significant funding and support to the one-child policy, no. $50 million in 1979? No, we never provided. The, the UN Population Fund worked in districts in China to try and persuade China to relax the one-child policy so that they can, you know, provide, uh, you know, uh, they, can, they can allow women to make choices in, 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 in family planning. Uh, Sir, uh, I, uh, according to the Netherlands Interdisciplinary Demographic Institute, a, a study they published in 2000, the UN Population Fund provided a $50 million grant to China in 1979 that was used at the outset of the program to establish the information gathering system. Um, uh, according to a report prepared by that research institute, the China uh, Population Information and Research Center was established in 1980 with assistance with UNFPA. Uh, is that information incorrect? You are, you're talking of gathering information, very different from a policy that actually coerced people. That's a different thing. So we work in China. We will have to work in China. China is the largest population in the world. So we are there, but we are not part of the one-child policy. Okay. Um, is it true that in 1983 the UN Population Fund gave uh, an award of over $12,000 to China's family planning chief? Is that correct or not? China's family planning? To the person in charge of, of family planning in China. Has, has, has the UN Population Fund ever recognized or awarded China's, uh, China with respect to their, their uh, one-child policy? No, not that I know of. Not that you know of. Yes. Okay. Um, now, uh, it was in 1989, a UN uh, a population fund official uh, in Beijing told the Chinese news agency, quote, U.S. charges of coercion within the Chinese program were groundless. Uh, do you think that official was correct to say that charges of coercion within the program were groundless? Well, the, the, the areas we work, we had no coercion. Uh, okay. Um, could you maybe identify the areas within China where coercion didn't occur as part of the one-child policy? Because my understanding of the program uh, is that it was quite consistent across the country, at least initially in its application. We are, I, I think that there are national programs that we, that, you know, when, when countries decide to put national programs in place, it is not in our place. We can advise them. They, they decide to do what they have to do. And there aren't too many countries, uh, there are many countries where we've been able to change policies. And as you see, China itself has decided to change policy. This is part of the advocacy we have put in place. It, it seems to me, sir, respectfully, that uh, if, if after awarding the program and giving a substantial amount of seed money in I, the I, early I, years... I, I, I did not, we did not give seed money to the one-child policy program. You, you gave it to the information gathering program in yeah, the context of... Yeah, information gathering program is yeah. a different thing. Yeah. Because if you don't have information, how do you, how do you then take positions? R r respectfully, sir, I mean, your, your association was involved in the setting no, up of the not information... No, we're not an association. Pardon me, your we're organization... We're an intergovernmental organization Th funded 
by Thank the you. United Thank Nations. Thank you. Your, your uh, organization was involved in uh, providing funding to an information gathering system that was necessary to facilitate the exercise of the program. That was you awarded the no, program, that and was you have yet to, no, sir, I'm sorry, but I control this time. That was, That's the rules of the committee. Uh, respectfully, sir, your organization has yet to apologize uh, for uh, what is, I think, very concerning involvement in coercive uh, family planning programs in China. And if you would simply take a step back, recognize the coercive nature of those programs, uh, and and apologize for defending the pro the activity of your organization, defending the program, I think uh, that would clear the air, because there is no doubt that good and important work is we, being done in this respect. But, but I, I have grave concerns about uh, this history and what seems to me an unwillingness to face up no, to No, no. We... we we have we have worked we have worked in China with great dignity and respect for the Chinese government because they're government and we have never been involved in coercive uh, uh, issues of family planning and I want to say that and there have been at least five five congressional delegations from the United States that gone to China and come back and shown quite clearly that we were not part of it. And we have the reports.